The Trilby Connection DVD. This is a training in effective street hypnotism. By that I mean performance hypnosis that's not geared toward traditional stage hypnosis. For people who want to be able to perform with hypnosis at parties, as part of another act, on the street, a real range of environments. But we're going to call it street hypnotism. This approach to using hypnosis is characterized by a number of things. Firstly, it's quite rapid in terms of the techniques that you use, although that's slightly softened by certain language patterns and tricks that you're going to learn. It's characterized by being quite direct. In other words, you're going to make a suggestion, you're going to test your work constantly to see if your subject's coming with you and those suggestions and ideas that you're putting forward are, are taking hold. And uh, it's characterized by a kind of gradual scaling up of the phenomena that you're going to get into. And what that means is that you can perform with this to even, even a very basic level and you have still given a satisfactory demonstration without all the fears of, well, you know, what if it doesn't work and that kind of thing, okay? So we're gonna run through this in quite a structured way and the structure we're gonna use is first off, we're gonna look at the approach and by that I mean walking up to a group of people or an individual in any situation and essentially engineering a conversation about hypnosis that's gonna to lead to them wanting to be hypnotized. We're gonna talk about the setup process. So after you've approached somebody, um, typically they'll come back with some kind of response. It may be based on fear, it may be based on misconceptions, they may just be really excited and want to be hypnotized. You're going to set them up so you can get them in the perfect physical position, the perfect kind of mental state of mind, um, and in a way that they feel happy and safe with what you're going to do. And then we'll look at what I call a set piece. Now this is just a term that I use to refer to the typical kind of exercises and things that I'll do with somebody prior to getting to the the real hypnosis, the proper induction if you like. We'll then come on to the induction itself and I'm going to teach you four or five different ways of, of inducing hypnosis. From there we're going to get into what's called deepening and using fractionation to really intensify the experience that they're having and from there we're going to start to get into some of the bigger phenomena um, of catalepsy and amnesia and hallucinations and all this kind of thing. Finally we'll go over the wake up procedure and why that's important, why it's done in a particular way and we'll also talk about health and safety in some detail as well. So it's got a nice clear structure, it is easy to learn and the only thing you need to do is be the hypnotist, okay? Okay. Give me too harsh. I don't give me too harsh. No, no, it's fine. Is this a party? Uh, it's my mate now. Hey guys. Hi. How you doing? I'm John. Hi, John. Hi. Nice to meet you. Kate, nice to meet you. Hi, John. Emma. Emma? Okay, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. Whoever wants to play the game, this is to warm you up for the best hypnotist in the United Kingdom. You're going to put your hands out in front of you. Slowly at first, but the closer they get, the more they want to stick. Focusing on that in your mind, allowing yourself to feel that. They twitch just right. They're very good, very good. Rose. Keep going closer and closer together. Let those get stronger and stronger. Feel that. And when they stick, they completely stuck. That was excellent. Yeah, yeah. no, it's really cool. I like that. I think he could have had a bit more control there and got one or two more people involved, if not the whole group. Yeah, I was a bit disappointed that he, he kind of let people off the hook there. He kind of, uh, you know, there's clearly people fascinated and had that kind of rabbit in the headlights look. Do me a favor, close your eyes, just relax and drift down now, because in a moment I want to take you to a really comfortable place. We feel that happening, and it's interesting, isn't it, Murray? That's right. Sticks to your head, making it so funny, exploding, just like that. <laughs> Open your eyes, find your hand completely stuck. Isn't that strange? Yeah. It's strange, yeah. isn't it? The more you think about it, the funnier it becomes. And that's such a powerful moment, getting them to open their eyes while their hands stay. Again, if you can look past the idea of levels and that it's harder to do things with your eyes open than it is closed, there's no reason you can't do all this stuff with the eyes open. This is um, something that, that will give you a lifetime of, of fun and amusement. Count your fingers for me. One, two, three, seven, eight. Right, and then over here, just keep going from eight is... Nine. Yeah, what's that one? 